to strength and conditioning training session number three, okay? Um, we're gonna start off today by doing a series of exercises. We're gonna do five of them in a row without taking a break, and that's gonna be considered one round, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate all the exercises first, then I'm gonna be doing the first round with you guys, and you're gonna be doing three to five rounds total, okay? So the first exercise is real simple. We're just doing squats, okay? So we're gonna do squats, and basically you're gonna do this for 20 seconds without stopping. Okay, next are called lateral hops. Um, you wanna make sure your hips are facing forwards and you're just hopping side to side, uh, you know, non-stop. Um, feet together, imagine there's like a little uh, object here you're hopping over and you're just hopping from side to side, getting up as high as you can, okay? Uh, next thing that we're doing are called hoppers. Um, hoppers are where you're gonna squat down and you're just hopping like this, okay? You're not extending the leg, it's not a squat, you're using more of the calf muscles, okay? So those are called your hoppers. Um, next exercise are gonna be uh, fast feet, okay? You want your feet apart about shoulder width, and you're just running as fast as you can, moving those feet as quick as you can. Um, and then finally, we're doing what's called low shadow boxing, okay? You're gonna get back into that hopper position, and you're just practicing shadow boxing, okay? You're bouncing, shh, 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 hopping in, hopping out, Switching other direction, throwing hooks, throwing uppercuts, jabs, punches, whatever you guys can throw from there. Okay, so we're gonna do all five exercises in a row, no breaks. Okay, 20 seconds per exercise. Um, first, uh, first round, I'm gonna be with you guys. Okay, ready and go. Squats, 20 seconds. Okay, guys, go on to, to uh, lateral hops. We're hopping side to side. Okay, guys, hoppers. Squat down. Okay, guys, next is gonna be fast feet. Ooh, those legs are burning. Move those feet as fast as you can. Non-stop. Ooh, yeah, I feel this one already. You guys, hopefully you're pushing through, being strong, a little faster if you can. Good, and finally, low shadow box. Hopping, moving around, switching. Almost there, you guys. Keep it going. Keep it going. A couple more seconds. And time. Oh my goodness, I'm feeling that. Okay, guys, hit pause right now. Um, take about a minute break, and you're gonna do three to five rounds of that total. Your choice, however many you wanna do. Okay, get going. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing here is called a high knee jump. Okay, and this really works on that explosiveness, being able to jump real high, um, you know, that helps you with your, your kicks. Um, so what we're simply doing is we're gonna squat down just a little bit. You don't wanna go too low, because if you go too low, it's difficult to get up, okay? And you're gonna jump up. Think about raising your knees up, both knees up, as high as you can, okay? So you're basically gonna squat down. Notice how I use those arms to jump, okay? I'm gonna bring those arms back, I'm gonna jump up, bring those knees up as high as I can, and then land in a bit of a squat position, okay? Um, you know, you don't wanna land with those legs straight, land with those legs a little bent. Again, bend down, jump up, like so, okay? Make sure you guys one more from the side, and again, we're gonna squat down, jump up, knees as high as you can. Okay, so you're gonna be doing three sets of those, three sets of 10, so do 10, you know, pretty quickly, one after the next, take about a 30 second rest, and then your next set, 
Three sets total, high knees. Get going. So another exercise that can help you with your jumping ability is to work on those calf muscles. Okay, so we're going to do what's called calf, uh, calf raises. You're going to put your feet apart, you know, basically a horse stance distance apart. So that's wider than shoulder distance. Knees bent. You're going to be off your heels and we're just going to bounce like this non-stop. Okay, so let's do the first round together. We're going to go for one minute um, and then you guys will do a couple rounds on your own. Okay, ready and go. Feet apart. Don't let those heels touch the ground, okay? We're just bouncing like this. Let your arms be relaxed. You don't have to have your arms up in a fighting stance. And after a little bit, you should feel this in your calves. Okay, if you're not feeling this, hey, maybe you should go a little quicker. Really bouncing fast. Yeah, you guys, keep it going. Keep that stance wide. Also, look how my stance is wide like a horse stance. Knees are bent. Good guys, more than halfway done. Hopefully you guys can feel that burn in your calves. About 10 seconds left. Almost there. And time. Okay guys, good job. Shake those legs out. Okay, you're gonna hit pause. You're gonna do two more rounds of that. Two more one minute rounds. Um, on your own time. Okay, get going. So now I got an even more challenging version of the, the calf raises for you. You're going to do it with one leg this time. Okay, so basically you're going to raise one leg, hands up, and you're hopping on one foot, okay, for 30 seconds. Okay, we're only going to do one round of this, uh, so we're going to do 30 seconds per leg. I'm gonna do this one with you guys. So remember to keep that knee up as high as you can. Keep those hands up also. Okay, let's get started and go. We're hopping, keeping that knee up. Don't let that knee drop, you guys. Okay, good. I try not to spin in circles too much, but we can move around a little bit. Okay, we're over halfway done with this leg. Keep that knee up high, don't let it drop you guys, be tough. Almost there, and time. Okay guys, good, shake that leg out. Okay, let's knock out that other leg, and then we're done with this. Like I said, we're only doing one set of these ones. Okay, we'll go in right about now. Go ahead and start. Keep that leg chamber as high as you can. Yeah. Okay, guys, keep it going. More than halfway done. Almost there, about five seconds left. Good, and time. Okay, guys, good job. Shake those legs out, take a little break, and then come back to the next section. Hey everyone, I just realized I forgot to show you guys earlier to get two markers. You know, I have cones here. Uh, they don't have to be cones, they can be anything. You can put two shoes down. To be honest, you don't even need markers, you know, um, but I like to have them so it tells me when to stop and start. We're just going to be doing uh, slides for one minute, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to start on one end, okay, get in your fighting stance, and you're sliding. As soon as you get that marker, you slide back. And as soon as you get the back marker, you slide forwards. Okay, notice how I'm keeping my legs bent the whole time. I know your legs are probably burning. You've really been hitting those legs hard today, um, but the, your legs are going to get a lot stronger. Okay, so let's do the first round together. We're going to be doing one minute, and then you're going to do one round on your own. Okay, so if you need to, hit pause, get two markers real quick, um, or just kind of in your mind, you know, place two markers. Okay, guys, ready? One minute, and you can switch feet whenever you want. Um, and the whole goal is just to keep moving non-stop. One minute and go. Forwards fast and then back. Good. And then forwards and then back. And then forwards. And if you want to switch, back and forwards and back. And forwards 
You can switch whenever you want. Back. Nice. Keep it going. Non stop. Fast feet. Fast feet. Long. One minute, Dad. One minute. Only thing you're not allowed to do is stop. Even if you slow down, that's fine. But keep it moving. One minute. Non stop movement. Keeping the knees bent. Keep it up, guys. We're almost done. And only a few seconds left. And time. Okay, guys. Good job. So, you're going to take about a 30 second rest, do one more round of one minute, and then you're done with this drill. You can move on to the next. Okay, get going. Next drill I got for you guys is called the switch and pivot. Okay, this teaches you to change angles um, with your attack. So uh, you know you're gonna start uh, in your fighting stance. I'm kind of on the center line here. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch and then pivot. Okay, so now I'm facing this side. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna do a switch and back pivot. And I've ended up in the exact same spot. So watch again, I'm gonna go switch and then that back leg steps behind 90 degrees, okay? And again, I'm gonna switch that back leg steps behind 90 degrees, and you should end back up in the exact same spot. Let's do this again. Switch, pivot, switch, pivot. Okay, I'll do a couple more for you guys. Okay, again, switch, pivot, switch, pivot. So the drill is going to be like this. You're going to do that for 30 seconds. You're going to do three 30 second rounds, um, taking a little break in between. So it's going to go switch, pivot, switch, pivot, switch, pivot, switch, pivot. Okay? So you guys hit pause right now. Three 30 second rounds of the switch pivot. Um, speed's not that important. You know, if you can go fast, fantastic. If you got to go a little slower, that's fine too. You guys choose the speed that you go. Okay? It's started. guys can't tell, you can't see all this sweat. Okay, I know today's class is a tough class. I'm doing it with you guys. Um, so I need you guys to be strong. Okay, like I said, last exercise, uh, these are called shoulder tappers. Okay, so you're gonna basically get into a push-up position and you're gonna alternate touching your shoulder. Um, uh, so let me demonstrate a couple here for you guys. You're gonna go basically touch the shoulder, touch, just going from side to side. And if you wanna increase the speed, that's fine, okay? So we're gonna do a minute round um, uh, together, and then you're gonna do one more round on your own, okay? Well, let's look at the clock, one minute. Can you give me one minute on the clock here? Just go ahead and eyeball it, perfect. We got one minute, to get into a push-up position, and go. I'm just touching from side to side, tap that shoulder. Try to keep your back straight. Let me turn sideways for you guys. Don't have that booty up, okay? Back straight. Get a little tired, you know, go a little slower. Oh yeah, I got the sweat dripping on the back here. I'm not to clean this back afterwards. Hopefully you guys are sweating just as much. Take about a 30 second rest, maybe a minute if you need to. That's not easy. And you're gonna do one more round on your own. Okay guys, I know today's tough, but uh, hopefully you're tough. Okay, get going. 